everyone, Andrew here from Borderline Security. Today we're going to be talking about safety beams on your gate, anti-collision beams and how you can maintain them and just help you reduce any issues that may arise. You could have foliage growing around them, um, this is in Jloti by the beach, um, so you could have salt. We haven't had any issues with salt on the lenses but it is something that, that, that could potentially cause issues. Um, you may be on the farm, um, you may get dust or, or mud on them from time to time. Um, it's going to stop them from seeing each other. Your gate's going to then stay open, it's not going to close. You're going to call us. It would have been something that could easily be resolved by you. Um, but yeah, so today we're just talking about beams um, and some of the different beams that Centurion has to offer. So here we have the R5 beam. Um, we are replacing this one today. Um, it's a hard wired beam and it does the same thing as your photon beam um, which is what we'll be on to next. That is your photon beam, this is a part wireless beam so this one on this side here is hard wired to the motor um, which is right there so it's a short little cable run and on the other side we have the wireless one. Um, this takes two, two batteries inside. Um, so all that does is eliminate us from having to run cable across the driveway um, as it could be quite a, quite costly um, as we're going to have to lift pave chase driveways and that kind of thing um, so yeah it just saves you at the end of the day a bit of money and the batteries last long as well but yeah just make sure your lenses are clean if if you have got a flower bed nearby, just make sure that all those branches and, and leaves and stuff are, are trimmed nicely so they, they won't get in the way, even if they look out of the way and the wind starts blowing and crosses the beams. Um, and you know, just keep them clean, maybe every every two weeks I'd say would be a good start if, if you haven't started cleaning them yet um, and then just monitor from them. You may only need to do it every three weeks but all, all properties are different, so they're all exposed to different elements, so you'll, you'll know best, but I'd, I'd say start every two weeks, but if you are in a dusty or muddy area, um, maybe even, even once a week would be good. If you're having ant problems and you stay in a place where you get lots of ants in your stuff, um, I don't really recommend customers opening their beams, but if you really have to, um, and then to, to keep ants out would be mothballs. Uh, generally, I'd say just check on them every, every three months or so as they, they do end up evaporating so they don't stay there forever. Just pop one into each beam like that um, and you're good to go. Uh, that is your little R. Um, I don't know if you can see it too well here. But it's a little black thing and, and that's obviously what needs to look across to the other side so well, if you put a mothball there anyway it would fall to the bottom but just put it on that little bottom shelf there and then so that should keep the, the ants at bay um, also just be aware please if, if you do attempt this there's a little tab over here that the screw screws into um, it isn't over engineered because it, it does what it needs to do and just hold the cover closed. What people do sometimes tend to do, even some installers, um, is they over tighten that screw and that thing breaks or the cover might even be brittle and old, um, causing that to break. So please just be careful if, if you do attempt to open your beams. And on this side here we have the other beam, you can see they have put ant powder in there and we have got a victim here, I don't know if he's alive or not. Um, I can deal with snakes but spiders, oh, that guy's gone, finished. Um, yeah, so please just stay away from the ant powder, it's, it's messy stuff and it's, yeah, it's just not nice. Uh, moss balls are the better option, they're a lot more cleaner to work with and they don't get all over everything um, as opposed to ant powder. So there you have it, uh, that one's all installed, now it's nice and clean, uh, no more ant powder, we've got our mothball in there, ready to close it up. If you 
ever want to see if your beams are functioning um, and if there is power there, just put your hand in front of it. Wave your hand past. You should hear one of the sides clicking. Only the one side will click. Uh, I can't say it's the side that's closest to the motor or furthest away. It normally is the side closest to the motor. Um, if you have the photon beams like this, it will definitely be the one closest to the motor. Um, yeah, so just, just wave your hand in front of it. And you should hear it clicking. If it's clicking and there is power there and the issue lies somewhere else, could be in the wiring, um, maybe the cable's faulty. Thanks for watching the video, I hope, hope you found this informative and we'll see you on the next one.